Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. All right. This is Minister Dwight Gabbard. Back again for a short segment. Church of Christ proudly said. Amen. Tonight, people, there's another outcry for a wrongful verdict. You know, I want to discuss a little bit about what's going on up in New York. Staten Island. My condolences go out to the Eric Gardner family. Subject tonight going to be a brief study. And I said observation and what the Lord would want us to do pertaining to Officer Daniel. Was it? Mentalio? with the chokehold. What kind of country are we living in? What kind? They can kill. They can kill and get away with it. The wife referred to this as a modern day lynching. That's exactly the way it is. People, this message is not to incite a riot. Just to look at the facts. The man said he could not breathe and he did not let go and killed him right there on camera. Sorry is not enough. I'm thinking maybe the jury probably thought that, well, just like Jeffrey Dahmer, just like um, the Brown family down in Missouri, if they had got an indictment to go to jail, there's no doubt in my mind and in jail, they probably wouldn't last the next 24 hours. Just give him a chance, and they're going to kill him. See, people, God is still in control, like I said before. First of all, we must keep a cool, yeah, keep a cool head. Anger has a way of clouding the thoughts and changing the direction that the heart is going to go. You can't take back. It doesn't make any sense about all the mobbing and the rioting and the brawling. All that old kind of stuff, you know. Don't do it. Don't lose. What's the point? Two wrongs do not make a right. You have to stand on the right side of the law in the sight of God. God wants us to correspond and collaborate with man's law as long as, long as it's uh, in association with his law. You stay in tune with God, everything else will work itself out because he's still running the show here. Now let's look at a few little notes I wrote down. Thou shalt not kill, which is one of the first commandments in Ten Commandment format brought over from the old to the new. Um, in, in a non-Ten Commandment format, the commandments of Christ. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not murder. They're a little bit different, but still the same thing. Alright? Now, I've heard cops talking around the gas station when I used to work. When I used to work at one back in the day. They would pump up each other. They'd be bored. You know, I need some action. I've heard them say, if they shoot, they shoot to kill. I said, well, why don't you shoot to wing them? How come you just can't hit them in the leg or the knee or something? You know, if you're trying to stop somebody from breaking the law. Why do you have to overextend yourself and take a person's life that you cannot give back? That's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. You may try to be bad in front of the public and everything, but i tell you what, at night, it's going to haunt you in your dreams. You're never going to get no peace. People, let's stand out the way and let God do his bidding. If you're going to demonstrate, go ahead and do it non-violently. Violence is not the answer. Let's stop the violence. There's another way. Let's start with praying. Keep a cool head and pray about it and demonstrate about it. Sign your petitions. We got to stand together. Black, white, yellow, brown, and green. It don't make no difference. 
Who's on the right side? Let them stand on the right. Who's on the left side of the, of the of the law? You know what? They asked me why I got the same attitude. I got a little got a, the attitude I got now about the law. People, the system is broken. There's two men with two judges back to back. The Mike Brown case and the New York case. The Staten Island case. That has walked out the courtroom and killed another black man. That's a doggone shame. What is it coming to with crooked judges and crooked juries and crooked cops and crooked lawyers? All about the greenback. Everybody trying to make that change during this bounce back from recession time of that census war. Yeah, I'm talking about the daddy and the pop that started the war in the first doggone place. You know who you are. Every president going to make some mistakes. I try to have a cool mind. I try to give second and third chances as far as forgiveness. All right, let's move on here. Now, the system is broken, and I have little next to no respect for it. There's only a handful of cops and lawyers and judges. The rest of them has gone corrupt. The majority of the system has gone corrupt. These people have to collaborate with lawmakers. I told you about the lawmakers before. Them the one ones got the secretary and stuff, and whisk at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the uh, of the desk. Just having sex with the secretary just on her way up, giving laws to everybody in society and everything, but they don't abide by them. You're not abide by them now. You're cheating on your wife, your lawmakers, your lawyers and cops and judges and all the and the system. Everything is broken. And we're tired of our black men and people getting shot. We didn't have to put up with that back in the day with all the lynchings. But this is a doggone shame. No more brotherhood at all. When you peel that skin back, you got the same thing under. Just like I do. Everybody pees and everybody bleeds. Everybody do. Who you think you are trying to hate and judge somebody? You wait till that judgment day when you stand before the Holy Father and His Son. Every eye shall see Him and every knee shall bow, bow and your face is going to be toward the ground in fear and trembling. The only people going to have any confidence that day is the Christians because we're waiting for them. People like me. Oh, we fall too, but we get up. We don't drop every time you turn around. Just like a lot of you do. A lot of you just get up and you sin all day long, just continuously. Ain't got no remorse or anything. Just grieve the spirit. Now another man is dead. Cop walk out of the yeah. You can go out in public. You brought this on yourself. Ain't nobody that I know, like I said before. Ain't nobody that I know. And nobody that uh 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 uh, uh not not that I know, and nobody none of my friends know. But when you walk outside, you got to look over your shoulder. It don't make no difference if you change your name. Your life will never be the same. One way or another, justice will prevail. I just hope it prevail the way the Lord want to send it down. You must pay for taking that life. Either in this world or the world to come. Whosoever should kill shall be in the danger of the judgment. That's not good. Okay, let's move on here. The chastening is on. Chastise. Holy Ghost whooping. You know where they hit you. You will pay for injustice. You crooked ju jury of members out there. Yay, nay. What you find? Oh, a, 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 what is that? A reasonable doubt. Who ever come up with that in the first place? A reasonable doubt. And another black man is dead. Mm-mm. No. Sorry. Something got to be done about this thing. Okay. People. Hear, believe, repent, confess baptism, and then live faithfully. I suggest you get yourself to the nearest, friendliest church of Christ. The one that's practicing 
first century teachings. That's where the salvation is. All you other churches was not in existence when Christ went back to heaven. There is no salvation. Get yourself to the friendliest church of Christ. The one that's scripturally abiding. Talk to the elders, the deacons, the members, the ministers, and the Christian brothers and sisters that can sit down and counsel you in Christian love. You go from milk to the meat. Okay? Still not the same? And migrate up to the prime rib. As heaven's door, step in. We must live according to God's will down here on earth, people. You think you're going to be scared of that, of that mob? Hmm. You're going to be scared of God and his son. Amen. Now, people, let's stop the violence. Stop more praying. Peaceful demonstrating. Protesting. And all those good things. No breaking buildings, setting on fires, and, and blowing up cars and different things. Just stop it. Stop it. That's not the answer. I love my brothers. I love everyone. And peace out to my black brothers and sisters. We got to stop this killing. We want to live just like everybody else do. Amen.